Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Hartlepool Road to Glory. Now last episode, we, not County, I mean, what have happened in that game, I have no idea. We smashed them 5-2. We also had some other good results go for us, but now we're in the transfer window and I want to make some signings because this team's a little bit weak, I'm not going to lie. But let's get... But uh, coming up, we have got an FA Cup game against Sunderland, so it'll be our first Premier League test, which will be absolutely fantastic. But before that, let's have a look at some players that we could potentially bring in, but depending on money, we probably won't be able to. Right then, guys, so these are some players that have been mentioned in, co in the comments in previous episodes. Brendan Galloway um, from Everton, he's a 66 rated left back. At 19 years old, good acceleration, good sprint speed, and good good agility. Stand and slide tackles are not too bad as well. Hopefully, he can play centre back as well. That's what I'm hoping for. He can indeed play centre back. Can play both left back and centre back. Uh, we then got Patrick Roberts, who plays for Manchester City, <clears throat> 65 rated at 18 years old. Not too bad it as well. Good acceleration, good agility and balance, and good dribbling. We then got Christos Aravigas. Now, I did look at him at the start of the season and I was put off by his wage because I think he wanted something like 15k or so. But again, good acceleration, good sprint speed, good agility as well, good mental, um, good aggression and attack positioning and penalties finishing and shot power not too bad as well. Then got Tamas Priskin, who looks to be quite good. You no, know, 64 to 74 acceleration. What's his finish like? 68 to 78. So that's not too bad as well. Maybe go for him. And then we got Yu Hai. My name that is Yu Hai. Those stats look absolutely incredible. Maybe we can bring him in, depending on what his wages are. Because I haven't got that much money. I did. Off camera, I did ask the board if I could have some money. I have no idea what they've said. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what. Oh, I, there was, I do want to sell on some couple, just maybe a couple of players just for just get some money in and some wages as well. But yeah, let's uh, see what the board say about my uh, request for some funds. So got some emails about some players who are a little bit unsettled. We've got Francis Fernandez. It's a little bit unsettled, um, and they're saying that I should get rid of him. So maybe I can, maybe I should do that. Also, Scott Fennick. Is also unsettled again. Maybe I should get rid of him as well because I'm not really using Fennec. And also, they'll free up some wages and some money to bring in you know, maybe Aravidis or Priskin. And the board will give me £297,000. That's fine. I'll, I'll happily accept that. Um, in terms of these two players, Bingham can, can play right mid and up front, so I could possibly. I could possibly afford to lose these two players. No, no, not Bingham, not Banton. No, guys, Banton's loan has expired. <clears throat> now you know what. What's his wages? No, two years. I'm signing this guy up. He has been absolutely brilliant. I I don't care. Future fee. Of seven hundred and fifty thousand, I probably won't even have that. Well, I might have it by the time I get into the championship. But it's pretty much in the middle of what my chief executive has said: six hundred ninety-two thousand to eight hundred fifty-seven thousand. He was so good for me. I don't want to lose him. Banton, you're coming back, mate. Right. So, like I said, a game against Sunderland in the FA Cup, our first Premier League test. This will be. This is a good way to pay to my team will be good enough in the Premier League when it gets there. A game against Sunderland which will be which will be a really good game. I'm not gonna lie. But let's get into this game and hopefully hopefully we can win and progress. Ooh <coughs> Fernandez. Oh Oh my <laughs> Oh dear Pantilemon. What the fuck? Alright, so that is half time. We are currently nil nil with Sunderland, which is not too bad. We've been competing in this game. I'm quite happy at the moment. We'll just have a look at those half time stats. Let's have a look. So we've had two shots, one on target, more possession. Better pass accuracy than Sunderland's, not too bad. 
I, the thing with Sunderland, they, they don't seem to defend well. They seem to give the ball away in dangerous positions. But then they seem to recover that, and it's uh, quite annoying. But hopefully we can break through their defence and maybe get one or two guys to progress in the cup. Now, St. Addy, come on. Yeah. No! Are you mad, ref? No! No! No, 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 no. Was he? Oh no! I didn't even mean for him. To, I didn't even mean for him to pass it. That is just so unlucky. So then, guys, looks like this could be going to replay. Hope I'm eating my work. Hope. Come on! No! 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 Oh, good block. No. Yes. No. It's still around. Come on. No. No. Keep going. Oh, just clear it. Just clear it. I'll take a replay. <coughs> I'll take a replay. Looks like they've gone all, all out attack. Now nah, that is it. We have drawn against Sunderland. Not too bad. Sunderland weren't impressive. I must admit. But it's a replay. Before the game, I would have happily taken a replay. So yeah, but it's just a, it's another uh, game added to our fixture list. So. Good game. Let's move on now. We have a transfer offer here for Trevor Carson. Um, my number one goalkeeper. I'm not selling him because I don't need to sell Scott Carson. He's been he's been a really good goalkeeper for me. And there's just no point. I mean, if I sell him, I'm going to have to spend money on another goalkeeper. And I don't really want to do that. So that's a no from me. We've reviewed your uh, So, Wickham. Aren't looking to loan out Ban. Aren't no looking to loan Banton out. So in terms of buying players, you high. It's a left winger. And you want fifteen grand? You can't be that good if you're a free agent. I can't do it. I can't. I can't give you fifteen grand. I haven't got it. Maybe I'd look around and look on the loan market. See if there's anyone there. Alright, so I'm going to make a loan offer for this guy. Um, I won't have, I don't think I'll have enough time to scout him, but. Um, so I just put in a bit of 500, see what happens. Two year loan, he's on two grand a week, so. Let's have a look at him. Sim game against AFC Wimbledon, they are down in like 16th place or something like that. So we're going to sim this game, hopefully, we can pick up victory and really get our league too, I can't be honest, because we are top of the league. We do, we win by two goals to one. Harrison and Bingham getting the goals. Unfortunately, Duckworth picked up a red card. What to. <sighs> Duckworth, man, come on. But yeah, nice victory there. Another three points on the cards. More training now, let's have a look and see what. What growth we can get as a Vader up to 55 rated. He's he's growing like there's no tomorrow. It's almost reached 56 well, so he should get there in the next training session. But as a Vader, mate, so glad I found him. We have a transfer offer for Bingham. Bristol City want they want to pay 700,000 pounds for him. I'm not selling my best striker. Come on, you must be mad. If you think I would do that, come on. One of my best players, why would I do that? Alright then guys, so we are back in the FA Cup. We have gone to Sunderland for the replay. Just to think, maybe in that in three maybe hopefully in three seasons Sunderland uh Hartlepool will be playing Sunderland in the in the Premier League and playing at this stadium, you know, battling for the league, battling to stay in the Premier League. I mean it's I'm not gonna lie, it's quite a nice stadium. But I'm here to win and I want to do well in the FA Cup. Let's do this. Alright, so that is half time. We are currently 0 0 again. Again, we've been dominating Sunday. We're doing really, really well. We just can't seem to score past them. I mean, we put ball, we put crosses into the box and Pantimon comes out to punch them. Fuck off. But yeah, they have a little bit more possession. Um, we're not dominating as I thought. I thought we'd been dominating that first half, but not quite this time. Oh, um, second half. Let's do this. Come on. Good ball. Come on. Yes! <laughs> We've done it! <laughs> We've scored against Sunderland and it's Nelson Addy. What a cross that was by Fernandez. Why did he take a touch though? That's what I don't understand. Doesn't matter though. Oh, Nelson Addy. I mean, 
great run to get past Van Anhold. I mean, not the easiest player to get past, but good cross. Why did he control that? I have no idea, but it does not matter. 1-0 up against Sunderland. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, come on. We're through. Bingham, look at this. Surely, Bingham. Come on, finish. Yes. We've knocked out Sunderland in the FA Cup. We've done it, guys. Bingham, with two minutes to go, has given us that second goal. They must have gone all out attack because their defence was nowhere. Look, they're all just jogging back. Too easy for Bingham into top corner. No chance for Pantelimon. 2 0. Thank you, Bingham. And guys, we are through in the FA Cup. A fantastic 2 0 victory over Sunderland. Thanks to Nelson Addy and Bingham. Wow. Who would have, known, who would have seen that happening? Let's move on now. Right, we have a transfer offer for Raul Desai. He is the one that he wants to leave. 120,000 from Steve Lynch. I want at least 150 for him. I went above his uh, valuation. And. Right. Mains have said that they're reviewing the offer to take Park on loan with the option to buy him at the end of the loan period. They think they're fee involved this fair, but have not decided whether to allow him but they haven't decided whether they want to loan him out yet so they will get back to me so that could be good that could be good which could mean that we will get that player which would actually which would be fantastic i mean after two years we'll be in a championship meaning we'll have more money and then we can use that five hundred thousand on him we have a transfer off here for francis fernandez who am i you am i using him Who do I usually play on the right? I can't remember now. Um, it's Newport County, they're one of our rivals, so. 1, 2, 5. I want. Because Newport County are one of our rivals, and. Yeah, so match rescheduled, the Oxford game. And we've got £67,500 for Get P in Sunderland. Nice. Offer for Billy Painter. My second choice striker, 31 years old, 61 overall. Uh, and it's from Cambridge United, who we've actually got next. So I want at least. No, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be cheeky. I want at least 370 for him. <laughs> so cheeky, but I don't care. They probably won't even accept that, but you know. Offer for Scott Fennick from Barnet, one of the, the one of the strikers. Who are the board want me to sell. Value's at 150. Barnett offers 100,000. I've counted off at 150. And Stephen Inch will only go to 134. Around the side. Yeah, why not? Let him go. Out. Let him leave. He's very unhappy. It's in this home game against Cambridge United. They're down like 21st or something like that. Which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm using my second team, aren't I? Hopefully, he can do the job, though. Come on. Please. One all draw. Fernandez getting a goal and also getting injured. If I'd used my second team, I probably would have won that. Alright, so mains have said yes. Oh shit. I can't do it. Um They take the money now? I thought it's at the end of the loan. Oh bollocks, hold on. Newport County have retracted their offer for Francis Fernandez. Oh, he's on the treatment he's on the treatment table. Hey, he got injured and I Right, so Newport County have retracted their offer because Francis Fernandez is on is injured and he's out for four weeks with broken elbow. He did that because he didn't want to leave, I bet you. But in terms of this, I'm going to have uh, to... Let's have a look. A new contract. So we can accept him. Still got 57,000 and 4,000 on wages. So we've got a new player. Right, so Cambridge United have said they'll pay £210,000 for B Painter. And you know what? Billy Painter, you've been, been good, but it's time for you to move on. You're 31 years old, we're in a championship, uh, League 1, I mean. I don't think he'll be good enough. So we'll wait for that to go through. Raul Desai has gone to Stevens for £130,000 with 110 allocated to me. Barnett has said... Uh, Billy... Oh! 
No, I'm getting more. I'm getting more for uh, Billy Painter from whoever it was. Uh, Barney will pay one hundred and ten thousand. Well, now that I'm getting rid of Painter, actually, mm, do I accept or not? Hold on. Now you know what, one hundred and fifty, just in case the Painter deal falls through. I right, said so Billy Painter's gone to Cambridge in ninety. That's not. That's all right. Um, buying it. I'm not gonna pay 150 for Fennec. Am I doing the right thing? Is there a chance I could like stop the deal happening? Maybe I should just put in an offer for either of them. Nine grand. I want 15. Yeah, you can fuck around with them. Priskin, please say you don't want a lot. 15 grand. Oh my god. Uh. Um. Why do they want 15 grand? Fuck off. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it. I'm just going to give them what they're on at the moment. Include the 10%. Uh, and an important first team player. Aravidis. And Priskin. Approach to sign. So, oh, he's on 7. Nah, go with that. 7,000, important. Let's have a look. Player sold, so Fennec has gone to Barnet for 150,000. We've got 130 on the wages. Counter offer received. They they want the 15 grand. I have not got the money, guys. So I'm afraid we won't be seeing Priskin of Aravidis. So it could be loan options for for striker. But then, guys, that is it for this episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this thing. So please do leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here to keep up to date for when I upload. In the next episode, we've got another FA Cup game against Burnley. Um, also, let me know in the comments below which striker you think I should go in. Maybe I should do a loan with a future fee. So, let me know in the comments below. In fact, before we do this, have a look. So, going 50 50, I've got £689,000 for transfers and £13,000 on the wage budget on the wage budget on the wage budget so let me know in the comments below who you think I should sign on loan maybe or a permanent deal I don't really mind maybe a loan with a future fee who knows so let me know in the comments below who you think I should sign um but yeah I hope you have enjoyed this and if so please leave a like subscribe if you're new around here to keep up to date for when I upload and I will see you next time cheers lads peace and bye